Greetings, mortals. I am the Fallen Shogun, and welcome to the Who's at Indie. Being a strategic, tactical, and survival indie game, see your face all today's indie is We Are the Caretakers. As you can see, it's about managing animals, team members, and civilizations. You're going to make hard choices, you're going to lose animals you're protecting, and your squad and reputation. So, this is a limited demo. As you can see, I've done it once already a couple of days ago. We're going to start again. So, you pick your character, male or female. So it's calling himself an Afro-Futuristic game. So like Afro-Futuristic. So basically... Sorry, that tabbed out. So basically, it's like Afro-Futuristic. So you are a squad of caretakers defending, as far as I can tell, a safari park or a... like an ecologically protected park. You are defending the animals in there from poachers and hunters, so it's very much a small-scale game, depending uh, compared to, say, XCOM. But it has XCOM similarities. You have six-man squads. You can lose people permanently. You recruit new troops for your teams. You can have multiple teams out at any one time. That's where the similarities end. Combat is not XCOM. Uh... Strategy is not really XCOM either, but it has a similar kind of thing. The actual combat style, I'd say it's more akin to Endless Space than it is to XCOM. But we'll get to that in a second. We're just going to skip through this. So you move your squad around, like left click to move and right click. So you pick your squads, as you can see, and there's different things on the map. So there's different zones, as you can see. To get to this zone, you have to obviously move towards it, and you do a scout. There's different things you can find. Like this has found me some clues. This has found me some money. But to get to an area, you move around, there's different items you can find in an area. Obviously, sometimes enemies spawn on the outside. But to get to a different zone, you have to scout it. Which means if there's enemy forces or animals you're meant to be protecting, you're actually slowed down by what you can or cannot see. As you can see, I'm getting scavenged goods and stuff. So you have to make sure you can actually know what you're doing. Now, in the next part of the map, it will show you other things. It's obviously just me exploring. So there's different things you're going to do. There's usually wild animals roaming about and also villages. Villages are obviously where you get more stuff to go. Let's go here to destination. Explore this and open more of the map. To actually get more teams on the map, you have to spend money. Money is these. These, I'd like to say, tribute. As you're ready to see a site, yeah, okay, skip this. Like I say, you want to know the story, you got to do it yourself. So I've just gained myself a little animal. See, as you can see, it's a six-man team. There's different classes to your soldiers. Let's just explore. That's very loud. Very loud. But yeah, you go to the town, you get different supplies, but there's also a day-night cycle, as you can see, going on permanently down here. Secure the town plus five reputation. Skip, 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 skip. Barriers unlocked. So some maps, of course, you'll be on the field for long periods of time. Your troops take damage in combat, of course. And you can have multiple teams out on the field. Like I say, that costs money to bring in. This is giving me 300 daily tributes. So the longer I control this, the more money I'll be getting in the game. And the more troops I can bring down. Of course, in this, I don't have any other teams just yet. And I have no way to bring them down. But yeah, you are protecting the animals from poachers. That is your goal. That is your game. There's probably obviously other things like maybe villainy and evil afoot, but you are literally protecting animals for safety. 600 given by the people. We have 3,000. See, reputation. See this. Rep the cooperation of failures, the aggressiveness of trespass, and the quality of recruits. So you'll need better recruits, obviously, just to survive. But if you have a really bad reputation, the enemy will think less of you and send more powerful and more numerous troops. Okay, grab that. Which gives me more reputation. So you need reputation. There you go. Got good tech. So we can actually unlock things now, as you can see. You know, it's amazing. Considering the fact that there is basically a lockdown slowly coming into place. The fact that the door keeps going is amazingly insane. So, there's always an objective, as you can see in the top right... Minus defeat the poacher boss, now give you an idea of the combat. So, 
Like I say, you can control multiple teams when you've got one active, and there is a base in between missions. I'm going to try not to defeat this guy, so I can grab this for the extra resources. Like I say, the longer you're in a ma uh, match, the uh, more resources you get. There's, in this situation, there doesn't appear to be any problems with being here longer, because obviously the longer you're here the more enemies and things you'll be fighting, but also the more resources you can pick up. You can also heal your troops at towns, it says. Get rid of the Ruin Horn before they catch it. Let's go skip through this. Conductor's unit has encountered a poacher. You're the conductor. That's what your role is. So, encounters all turn. Base each turn, choose its tactics and click on begin round. That's literally it. So there is aggressive, which is full on assault. There's neutral, which like does multiple, like you can see, there's heal here, there's an inspire there, there's a rush, and there's diplomatic. Each one of your characters has different kind of things going on. You can defeat their willpower, stamina, and something else. There is no health. You deplete their stamina. Stamina is the health bar. So we're gonna full on wipe him out and begin. And that's combat. As you can see, it's alright. And he's dead straight away. So he's a threat level too, that's a lie. So you basically bring them down to their knees, and the next attack will detain them. And that's how you win. That's it. Combat's done. And the person who got the detain got all the experience. We're going to skip through the story yet again. But yeah, that was it. We're done. Skip, 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 skip. And we return to headquarters. As you can see, we've got some research points, some reputation, and some coins. Okay, skip through this. Da -da 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 -da. So it begins to believe there may be some kind of plot against us. But you can see, there's a mission here, Craze Discovery, the Dead Run, and there's obviously this one more mission. So there's only three missions in the Arrow 1 Awakens. It's more of a prologue. Now as you can see here, I can have up to six teams. Actually nine, yeah, nine teams. I'm used to XCOM. So you can have up to six people in each team. I only have four teams active, and there are multiple different classes. You can see this one's a healer. His abilities are heal and kick. His finishing move is recruit or shakedown. So if you get these guys to do the finishers, that's what they do. Shakedown gives them gear. Recruit gets you a person. This is bribe. Gives you a thousand. We don't want that one. As you can see, each class is like heal, kick. This one is intimidate, calm, and kick. So this is the will and threat. This is this removes threat. This adds to threat, and this gets rid of stamina. So obviously you're trying to make it so that the enemies leave and get defeated. But obviously, basically at the early stages, just stamina seems to work. So what we've got over here, we have grapple first aid, you're just attacker, guard rush and you're grapple inspired. So let's get another healer here. And another attacker. Guard rush. Let's get you. As you can see, this is how, this is how the game works. What we got here, we have recruit, guard rush. Heel kick, guard rush, get you there, guard rush, oh you're a heel kick, good. And there you go, we now have active teams, this shows you how much it costs to deploy them. So obviously the more powerful they are, the more expensive it becomes to deploy, you're looking at about 200 coins, I wouldn't call them ducats because I've been playing too many games with ducats in, but yeah. So you can have smaller teams active around the map. But that's how it is. This is how you get your teams, this is how you recruit. There's an army, but we need error 2 to unlock the army so we can't make our own equipment. There's the atrium where we have visitors, and you can also recruit people. Now, Dane was detained for in the field for having Warnhorn. He was the boss I defeated. Now I can release him without warning. I can recruit him, which removes reputation, or I can do nothing. So, as you can see, I've lost like 10 reputation, but I now have a powerful soldier on my side. So you do have to make choices like that. Now everyone else I recruit, it looks like it just, you know, costs nothing. As you can see. But obviously finding recruits is what you do in the field. So most of the time you'll be getting them from the towns or from the teams you destroy. So you're literally recruiting poachers to fight poachers. But yeah, as you can see here, I've got a good team, Dayan. How good is Dayan? Finishing move is wound. Moves cast from and the game because it's threat level 200 percent Okay, as you can see, he's got good will, good charisma. Eh, it's okay, charisma. 
Speed of two. I could day in there. As you can see, his didn't go up that high. Probably Dane's just useless. A lurk can never be surprised. Yeah. yeah, Dane, you might be useless to me. We've got three extra teams. You pick your missions from here, just like XCOM. But as you've seen, the combat is completely different. Let's go do this. You find Cray crouched behind the three run cups. It's a, de it's a pattern someone is calling out to us. Let's go for reputation. No, research. If you eliminate the possibilities, this has to go on. So we're going to skip through all of this. This is story. And we do the final mission. It's only really two missions in this game. But obviously you want to get research and stuff ongoing. So you go up to here. Look at the research tech tree. Town healing is probably something we want. Unit pop unlocks additional unit slot and increases total population max by two. As you can see up here, this is how many ruins we have. You lose all of the ruin are all killed. We only have 12. Obviously none of this really matters to us because we don't have any of these. At all. But it's nice to, I guess, have them. There you go, got unit pop of one more. It doesn't really help, but we have it. And now we're going to go back into the fields. So this is where the game really shows. Because, skip, 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 skip. We're basically trying to lower. Everyone's fighting, but there will be teams of poachers entering. So we're going to protect the broad. Now these will move around. On their own. So I have to, obviously, explore the areas they're in. And keep a team guarding them. But again, as you saw, it costs money to bring a team in. Complete missions by achieving objectives. Could be optionals for extra money. Deploy to store units for more ground complete objectives more efficiently. So we're going to deploy unit 2. As you can see, they're now active. So we're going to try and get all the towns, all the teams, and obviously defend this. Now I know the enemy's going to spawn over there. There might be other areas. And we're going to get unit... Obviously, I can do that because I have plenty of extra money right now. But as you can see, all the extra exploration means I have lots of things going on. I can explore everywhere and see what's going on. So you do need extra teams, depending on what you're doing. Obviously, this early on, you don't really need it. Okay, they look happy to see me. The surprise for the Kessler to Kane's reign no longer welcome. So this will give me 300 daily tributes. So I stay here for longer than, say, four days. I get to, you know, all the money back I sent on the troops. Obviously, each team has its own health, its own troops. If they die, they die. Obviously, you want to keep them near towns. But you also want to explore. Grab the items, as you can see here. It's going to be reputation for finding traps. I'm also getting money for finding stuff. But I need to make sure all four of these guys, or three of these guys, are okay. As you can see, you can to 12 in a match. But yeah, you don't really want to lose them. Because again, if you lose all of them, you lose. You are defending the animals. Your people's lives are secondary. I'm getting a lot of reputation. I'm exploring the entire map pretty efficiently. And there's the enemy. Milton's turned up. Okay, can you guys go up to the... But yeah, as long as I keep the guys alive, it is fine. So these two teams are going to go scout downwards. My main assault team is going to get rid of Milton and his crew. Maybe we'll recruit some. Maybe they'll all die. It depends who gets the finisher. Which, because it's all done in one go, you don't... At this point in time, really have much control in. Okay, get rid of him, need to explore. Are we losing scouting already? Okay. Conductor, wipe it out. Threat meter effects, special hits, chance of opposition fling, and poacher aggression. So if the threat goes really bad, they might run away. Or we're going to straight up aggressively assault them. So we can, you know, destroy their will so they don't want to fight, or make them threaten so badly they want to escape. Okay, there we go. These guys actually have quite a lot of stamina. As you can see, it shows the order of combat. Now, the equipment and style of the characters is really interesting. I quite like it. Just not too big a fan of the combat. But I do love the style. Oh, we stunned them. So rushing just stuns them. You know, you also... You can't really properly choose who gets targeted. If they have a six-man team and you have a six-man team, you can choose roughly. That's it. Like if you look here, I can choose random, weakest, strongest, or leader. Now let's go back to neutral. So 
a catchy gets healed. When they're in critical and they get hit again, they can of course be downed. So you need to keep them alive by giving them extra stamina. Which in this case means healing them. There we go. And they get back into the fight. So your people will be downed quite a lot as well. So Milton must have just got defeated. Milton is very low on health. Oh, Milton's critical. Don't kill Milton. I catch you the finishing move used on him. They're still alive, but need to help recover after mission in the HQ. So as you can see, he's been finishing moved. Because they're only targeting the weak ones. So like I said, there's not really too much you can do. You can't specify what your characters go, to go on about, so it's... Almost very much out of your hands. You can specify like balanced or diplomatic to try and get your people to heal your guys, but you can't tell your healers to heal certain people. You can't tell your healers to attack or defend. You have to give the entire team a similar message. And you can't choose who you finish it. It's obviously in whoever does the speed. Which is a problem. Because it means you really don't have full control. Boss location already. Okay, so we're scouting again because we've lost vision. Obviously these two teams are weaker than my original team, although, yeah. Uh, grab this. You guys keep heading this way. Zep seems fine. Secure the town of Dreesel, five reputation. Yep, get out. Okay, don't attack me yet. That gives me 100 daily. My objective is, let's see, convert the big town. There's obviously no animals over there. Zep and Leather over here, and I don't know where the other one is. Munash is up top. Okay, town healing, yes. Field training, yes. And there we go. Secure the town plus five reputation. So, securing town seems pretty basic. And looks like we've hit the boss. Uh, aim for the leader. Go full on aggressive. Actually, diplomatic is intimidate, 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 healing, kick. Intimidate the boss. Maybe we can make him run away. Minus three will. Weak minded. Yeah. Okay, he's got a lot of will. He's got a fair bit of strength, a lot of stamina. So you can just right click on them at any one time, see what they're doing. Wound and grapple, that's what they do. And this is wound and barrage. Okay, his will's going down a lot. But level is three, let's have a look at this. Dangerous. Their charisma is going down, their critical hit chance is going up. Okay, let's keep it diplomatic. Now I have two heals and four intimidates. Let's see here. Uh, effects of critical hit, chances, chance of opposition fleeing, and poacher aggression. They really they won't run away? It, it doesn't actually fully explain. How's his willpower doing? 15. We'll keep at it. But some of these hits, which attack everyone, seem insanely overpowered. Did he just heal himself? Yeah, he did. Okay. Because I can obviously like to keep on intimidating this guy to remove his willpower. But now we need to full on assault and heal. Because like I say, because you can't really control what they do. I can't keep intimidating and healing. Because then there's a high chance I'm going to start losing people. So the hands off approach. 
is a bit... I need thinking. Obviously, some people are going to love it. This is only my thing. But it needs thinking. And have you already won? Oh, what is this? What am I seeing? Okay. So there's a drop pod. So there's a whole conspiracy like everyone's getting in through the barrier from the inside. But yeah. The whole hands-off approach... I think needs some work. That's just a me thing. Maybe people will love it. It's not my style. If I don't get to directly control my troops, it feels very much like you have to rely on luck. Like I can directly target certain soldiers as it were, but I can't choose to say bring down the powerhouse at the back and also target their weak guy. That has to be random. I like being in charge of my infantry. Uh, this, like I say, does not have that. So it's sort of preferences. But this game is not out yet. This is an alpha demo. This is the Steam Spring Festival as always. Uh, link will be in the description downstairs below. So you can wishlist it if you want to. It's not my style of combat. I'm intrigued. I like the style of game, but it's not my style of combat. Anyway, ciao for now. People. Be awesome. Be epic. Thanks as always to the Patreons and those who watch. And be seeing you in the next one.